Hi, how are you? Happy New Year to you all. I really hope you had a lovely Christmas. Well, you can see I'm back on Narrowboat Alice Grey's and we arrived last night and um, whenever you leave your boat over Christmas or for a period of time, when you come back on your boat, it's always freezing if it's winter. So it took a while to heat up. We had the heating on and we had the fire, but now it's all back to normal and the weather's mild, so we've got nothing on today. Ooh, oh, actually, didn't mean nothing on. I mean, we haven't got the fire <laughs> and the central heating. And... Um, <laughs> are leaving Barbie moorings where as Grace has been over Christmas we are going to go through the Hillmorton Locks and we are going to find somewhere beautiful and quiet to moor for New Year's Eve and you're coming with me! John Pattles mooring and he's got a shepherd's hut and a little garden. No one's home here, they're obviously out, but that's a lovely mooring as well. The bench and a garden behind so you can grow vegetables. It's really lovely. Would you like being back on the boat, Seth? Eliza's mooring. So we're just approaching Hillmorton Locks. Now, Hillmorton Locks are the busiest locks in the country. There's a set of three double locks and we are about to go through them. So we'll just see how busy it is. We'll test the busiest locks in the country for busyness. in terms of the busyness measurement it is on one and that one is us no other boats
behind you, gates are closed, paddles down. Oh, there's a gorgeous kestrel. To mark the inaugural year of the Canal River Trust in 2012, four locks were chosen across the country in which to contain lock lines, which are lines of poetry that have been carved into the lock gates. Roy Fisher was responsible for the poetry that you see on the lock gates at Hillmorton Locks 3 and 4. Working water, captive for a while, climbs carefully down. This door makes step. There's a herb garden and it says elk yourself. of mint there and um, a bit of thyme I've taken, no a bit of rose, actually that looks like rosemary but just calling it thyme. Now I've got a problem because I went over to the mint garden or the herb garden and I have put my windlass down somewhere and now I can't remember where I put my windlass. Yeah I picked some herbs but I can't find my windlass. Oh you've got it, brilliant. just slots in between the teeth. This is my hands though from doing the locks. So we have two things left to do before we could moor up. We had to quickly go shopping, so that's what I'm doing here now, ready in rugby to go to the nearby Tesco's. And then we have to go through the New Bolt Tunnel and hopefully there'll be an ideal mooring on the other side, ready for tomorrow's New Year's Eve. The former Oxford Canal, which is marked by the blue line in this map, you can see was very windy and because it was a really busy stretch of canal, boats needed to move much more quickly and directly to the destination. So they straightened the canal and as a result of that they needed to build this tunnel, the New Boulder Tunnel. And so it's time to moor up. Hopefully this is the perfect spot. It's hard to tell because it's very dark, but we'll see in the morning. Time to put that rosemary that I picked at the Hillmorton Locks to some good use. So I was going to make a gluten-free vegan focaccia bread which would go perfect with our New Year's Eve stew. because I'm baking. Okay, I'm bringing out some sample. Oh! It's got, have you got your torch? It's got olive oil um, and balsamic in the middle. Oh, one sec. 
Oh, this is looking so cute out here. What, so I got a Bit smooth shit? Yeah. Mmm, very nice. Oh, I like the olives in it. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Oh, oh. oh, this is the best spot to watch the fireworks. But not only was it a perfect spot for viewing the fireworks, it was also perfect for one of those circular walks where your boat is at the centre. I'm back on board my tiny home. It's engines on, it's time to roam. North Oxford's where we take our leave the day before the New Year's Eve. The grey, opaque and heavy sky surrounds us as we glide on by. And yet it feels like spring is here as at the tiller on we steer. How great it is to chug along and greet each duck and passing swan and wave to all the towpath folk, and smell the wood of chimney smoke. How wonderful to pass through locks that clank and clang as metal knocks on metal teeth that bite through gears made by hands from bygone years. With muddy fingers in the dark, we moor where woody cling to bark, where herons meet and lichens lace. Bridge 42, Brinklow's the place, for New Year without Alice Grace.